Where we go. Second hour of the show for this uh, February 27th, the second last day of February in 2014. Man, will I be glad when the calendar changes. I wish the weather would change with it. I've had enough of winter. I don't like winter at the best of times, Brent. And this winter is killing me. Yeah, it's been chilly. Chilly? Even the rooster looked cold in the backyard today. <laughs> and he usually doesn't seem to doesn't care. care. It's doesn't care. Be really, to care. Tonight's going to be really, really cold. And he was uh, cockadoodle doing all morning. Usually you get um, one segment of cockadoodle doos at about sunrise, a little before sunrise. And then he'll cockadoodle do maybe five or six times. This morning, uh, I was awake early, and cockadoodle do. I looked at the clock; it's four thirty. About forty-five minutes later, cockadoodle do again. Another six or eight cockadoodle do's, and then again at about I don't know six thirty or so. Mm. So his watch is busted. Well, he's cold. He's got nothing else to do. I think he's trying to keep his larynx warm. Yeah, it could be true. Well, he's going to be tonight's the cold one. This is going to be the coldest night of the year tonight. It looks like. Is it going to be? Yes. So what's your long-term plan for Mr. Chicken? He's not a chicken. He's a rooster. And what's your plan for him? Uh, he's a pet now. Okay. So he's just going to live there in perpetuity, live out his life in your backyard? It would appear so. Okay. And, and I'm you, okay with that. And you're feeding him regularly, right? Every day. Yeah. Gets his grains and a piece of bread usually. Does he seem to recognize you? Do you feel a, like a bond with this thing or not? Oh, yeah, he's like, he's at the, he's at the, if you don't go down and feed him, like at 8 o'clock, he's at the back door of the kitchen, looking in the kitchen. Hey, where are you? <laughs> it's, it's me, I'm out here, I'm hungry, where is food? It's like a child. He looks perplexed if we don't go out. Oh, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad you've, you've bonded and that you're going to continue it and you're not going to just turn your back on him at the end of the, end of the winter. No, I think he'll be much happier. I worry about him. Like every morning when I get up after a cold snap, one like of froze. And I wonder if he froze to death out there. And and the thing is, he leaves. He's there when I leave for work. But when I come back, he's gone. Usually around 4, 4.30, apparently, he goes wherever he goes. We don't know where he goes. I hope it's someplace warm. Mm -hmm. I hope he has someplace warm to go. Should now, a hot water bottle out there for him tonight or something, Bob. No, I don't know what to do. I, if... Well, we have this enclosure in this in this outdoor kitchen we're building, and, the, and they built a plastic enclosure around it so the workmen can stay warm. So I'm heating the outside of my house now. So they have a, a propane heater in there going. And it's about um, 11 or 12 degrees Celsius in there. So it's, you know, it's not warm, but it's... It's okay. It's okay. Um, I'd let him in to spend the night, but I don't know where he goes. I can't find him. You know, and I've gone out the back and I've called him. Maybe he's hanging with your neighbors. Could be two timing you. I don't know where he goes. Well, they don't—they're not feeding him. I can tell you that. Maybe he's. I hope he's got a warm place to go. But it can't be too far away because every morning, there he is. Cockadoodle do at five thirty, six o'clock, and then seven thirty at the door. Well, I don't want to be I, breakfast. I, I hope I'm not doing the the show the day he doesn't show up. Oh, I'll be. I'll, that'll be, I'll that'll be, be. That'll be a tough day. I'll be devastated. You will. Yeah. Although the good news is we'll we'll probably have Coco Van that night. <laughs> he may be a little how long do chickens live? Is that, he's like a, a rooster. Until you eat them, I guess that's how the the normal the normal answer. I don't think that. anybody knows the answer to that. Does anybody know the answer to that question? <laughs> you generally don't get to play it out right to the end, do they? How many how many chickens die in, of natural causes? Yeah, probably not a lot. Look it up on the internet, will you? How long do chickens live? No, roosters. Maybe roosters live longer than chickens. I thought about getting them a couple of chickens. Just a couple of chicks. I yep. think that, I think if you a little little I think a little farm back there. That'll keep is, keep them warm. Get some eggs. Can't beat that. Why don't you? Uh, you should think about that. Expand your operation. Urban chickens. There's, you know, the urban chickens are a big deal. A lot of places. The only problem is chickens, like all other animals, what goes in one end comes out the other end. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of stuff coming out the other end of this rooster. Put it on the garden. All, all over the place. Good for the garden. Yeah. Well, I can't see the garden right now. How long do chickens live? Chickens live like dogs. Chickens, average age, 9 or 10. Oh, wow. 
but they can live into their teens. So the chicken's going to be there long after you stop doing well, the show. Could. After your retirement, the chicken's still going to be going, right? But I don't know how old he is now. I, he, he, I have he, he appears in the kind of the prime of life, doesn't he? I don't know what an older... What do, you, what do, you, do, do chickens go gray? I think, they get, I think they get old and crotchety. Have you seen, the, you've seen pictures of the rooster? I've seen the pictures. He's well, beautiful, he's a, he's isn't a very he? nice looking chicken, yeah. So rooster. So they... And he's got color. Like, I don't know. Does he get gray, gray feathers? I don't know the answer to that. Why do you have so many questions? About I, I'm, I'm just I'm intrigued by this. It, it's it's an interesting side of you, the nurturing side of you. Well, I posted a picture. If you if there's people out there that haven't seen it, and you follow me on Twitter, um, Fadu Bobcat is, and 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 you can go there. And if you go back in time, I don't know how you do it. But, but don't try and claim this chicken or pretend it's yours because it's too late. Statute of limitations is expired. Well, besides, he likes me better. Well, that's right. He's I think he's yours now. Mm-hmm. Possession is whatever. I went to the pet store, pet food store. I said, I have a rooster living in my backyard. What do I feed him? The guy looked at me like I was from Mars. Mm-hmm. So what do you mean you have a rooster? Like you have a, a rooster, a chicken pen or whatever? I said, no, no, no. This rooster just came from somewhere and he moved into my backyard. And I'm, I'm feeding him um, multi-grain bread right now, which he seems to like quite nicely. He probably likes the grain and the multi-grain, yeah. But, you know, I'm, I can't imagine that. That should be his sole diet. I think they need a little bit of gravel. You know that? little fine gravel. Well, he it's said... It's a digestive thing. Yeah. Well, he said that's why you give him grains. So he gave me wild bird food. That makes feed. sense. And he says, do you have squirrels in the backyard? I said, oh, yeah. He says, well, then I'll give you this stuff. It's got chilies. Roosters don't mind it, but the squ- it's too hot for the squirrels. Well, that's a neat Squirrels idea. need like a drink I've of water. I've never heard of that. That's or a, great. They need, or like a beer <laughs> to wash it down. So, so far, so you have, well, that's good. So you don't have thousands of squirrels in your backyard. No, but I have one squirrel who apparently likes chilies. So the squirrel and the rooster share the uh, the bowl of feed when I put it out. And they seem to get along just fine. That's, well, this is, it's like a Disney movie playing out in your backyard. Although the, this, the rooster, who I think could scare the, the squirrel away, doesn't. He... He takes second banana. Like, he'll be eaten, and if the squirrel comes up, he kind of backs away and goes, all right, go ahead, and then waits for the squirrel finish, and then he goes back to the to whatever's left. Anyway, there's enough of the squirrel story. Well, people want those updates. Oh, the they, I think they want to know about your rooster. It's all good. Although he was cock-a-doodle-doing like crazy this morning. 